Okay. This is the map I've done the most work on so far with all the textures. I wanted to go for more of a grainy look with the uh, AI textures for Hell and even simpler. It's technically the first level in Hell. You can tell the difference by looking at this one. This was just an ESR GAN filter um, that I used on just for all the textures by default. But then these, I was like looking for custom um, models, I think they're called, to go for a grainier look. Um, yeah, did the floor, extended that up. That was way lower, didn't have the right height. I still have to mess with the uh, these type of sprites, but that'll come later. I added uh, glass here. So you can't jump through. At least it doesn't make sense that you can. But then when you kill them all, the monsters spawn in and break it. Here's some more look at the textures. I liked how some of these bricks and stuff came out. Here's a look at the sky up top. All the textures were done up there. We'll, uh, we'll do this the easy way. I also fixed the exit um, before he had it where it just went into like one of these corners. Um, and it was just a little blue area that raised up. So I fixed it to be more like regular Brutal Doom. Got lighting effects to come out. Um, even put a little light <laughs> and then nobody will notice unless they watch this video on the eyes there. So they glow a little bit. Um, the exit button is that one like it was in original. Um, Doom 64, these are all done. Um, these are four times um, AI textures. I plan on, once I get all these done, to do an eight times, do a second pass, because I was messing with some of the floor ones. Like, if you can see, the floor looks pretty good. It adds, like, an effect that actually looks like grass and twigs and stuff like that, rocks. Some of the ones that I was messing with for eight times filters looked really good, but that would require uh, a bit more work. I want to get the four times done. Got these done, added some lighting in here. The bricks look pretty good in my opinion here. Lined up all the textures, fixed the uh, fixed the darts here. He had weird weird uh, sprites, texture tiles, I guess you can call them here. But added, uh, added the trigger for all of them there like it was in original Doom 64. This is one of the ones I was actually pretty happy with how it came out. Um, it just looks pretty sharp in my opinion versus just the default one. Um, feelings done. Got the tiling working so there's no longer lines that you can see between the sprites. But yeah, some of these added actual like looks like posts and stuff. Looks pretty good. I like how the uh, I like how the AI textures work. They do a pretty good job. So that is the most part for this one. A lot of texture work, a lot of fixing the height of stuff, making it more like default Doom 64 with a couple changes to impact the um, the ability to jump, rocket jump, etc. You know, I don't want, like now, once the glass broke, you can jump through, just like you can in the original. But, you know, it, it kind of breaks and, has, and defeats having the point of, uh, you know, having the poles here. Because the original, there was just, these stairs hadn't raised yet, and that's what prevented you from getting up there. So the poles were added, and the, the windows were added. So that's that level. And the next level I started tweaking a little bit too. I uh, started messing with some different sprites. Actually these to mess with. Moved them around, added some of the original ones in here. This one he didn't, he had in here and that's in the work, but didn't add it for some reason. This is one of the default ones. And then uh, I messed with, uh, like this, this guy's dead. He's not gonna move, but this one randomly twitch and he'll groan. So. I custom made that. Not too bad in my opinion for my first uh, first work with an animated sprite, but it's pretty cool. Added the bars here and the stuff in the background to make it more, look more hellish. He, the Brutal Doom 64 added the like rocks there, but I added <clears throat> stuff in the background to make it look like, you know, it's an area where people are actually getting tortured. And these are just to prevent, again, the ability to jump down so once you uh once you kill all the monsters spawn the next wave 
kill those. That wall will come down, and then this half will come down. So you, you can't jump over here. I put up a invisible wall that'll go away. But got some of the texture work here. I'm gonna mess more with this level. Put cracks in the floor and stuff like that for that lava effect. I actually like. Um, but yeah, that's just some of the work I was doing on that. Like I said, there's there's more people that look like they're being tortured. Going for more of a hell theme instead of just empty levels. Figured, uh, you know, it's fitting with what we can do now. But yeah, that's that. That's update three. Um, I am almost done with all the textures, getting them automatically resized. So I think once those are done and once I can confirm and do a run through to make sure there's no weird um, auto resizing on textures, then I might release in the next update a link to download the first version of this. So there's still going to be a lot of uh, missing stuff that wasn't in Brutal Doom 64 that wasn't in the original, was in the original. Um, like, for example, this pillar I had to add, and I'm kind of learning as I go. Oh, yeah, this, uh, this door, I liked how it came out. It actually looks like there's spider webs on it. The AI did that by itself, so I thought that was pretty cool. Looks like a spider thing. Um, but yeah, I'm learning as I go, so I'm trying to figure out how to add this stuff back in to make it more like default vanilla Doom 64. I mean, it's going to be a mix of how I have envisioned it, like I said, with the stuff of people hanging and being on spikes and stuff like that, um, to make it look a little more modern, I guess you could say, especially once those start getting HD AI textures. I think they'll look really good, but like, for example, this here, this was added by the Brutal Doom guy. Um, Sergeant Mark, instead of, I believe the default had like the last level where like four pillars come up or something like that, and you can hit them to exit. Um, so that's the sort of stuff I have to learn and get added back in. Some of it is stuff I've already learned. Um, let me show also the, uh, the first level I messed with this lighting in here to make it more like vanilla. It was weird the other way it was, but this is actually how it was. He had it spinning the other way around. Vanilla has it spinning counterclockwise. He had it spinning clockwise. So I fixed that and then added actual like lighting effects. When it gets brighter, it gets darker under here and then back in. So I think that came out pretty well. But this sort of stuff is the stuff that takes long for me to learn. So we're getting there. Hopefully we have a new release in the near future. But uh, that's what I have so far. So hope some uh, some of you look forward to this. I uh, think Brutal Doom 64 was pretty good. Doom 64 is one of my favorites. And I'm going to mix the two to be uh, hopefully one of the best versions of Doom 64 out there. So thanks for watching. And uh, catch you with the next update.